and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Tyro. I'm your host, Donald Wanda. It sure has been a marvellous weekend as we just came back from talking about the Avengers Age of Ultron. But actually, before that, just before seeing the movie, I actually did complete the Daredevil TV series, which is a collaboration between Marvel and Netflix. Oh boy, there was so much hype for this show. And I was not in a rush just to jump and speed watch like everybody else. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because it gave me something to watch over the week. So, you know, you guys that have been waiting to hear Planet Tyro's point of view, you get to hear it now. Well, from, well, just me. But stay tuned and let's see what I thought about it. <laughs> Media. Netflix and Marvel's Daredevil Season 1. Alright guys, I don't want to get too much in the synopsis of Daredevil. Because it's a pretty, pretty simple story that most people already know about. About, you know, this guy, blind lawyer who becomes a crime fighter in a city called Hell's Kitchen. Blah, 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 blah. Most of you guys already know the deal. That's basically the short synopsis. What I do want to say is my little brief experience with Daredevil beforehand. Because I was somewhat of a fan of Daredevil. Not from the comics, because I didn't read the comics when I was a kid. The Spider-Man cartoon, Daredevil was a side character that showed up quite a bit. And was a little bit of a mentor slash advisor to Spider-Man. And he was very likeable, very well written in that, in that cartoon series. So I always liked Daredevil. I thought it was okay. The Ben Affleck movie never really tainted my love for Daredevil. I obviously saw it was just not executed well as a movie. And from the cartoon, I saw how awesome he was. So when I heard Marvel was doing a TV series with a collaboration with Netflix to do it, based on Marvel's previous track records, I thought this was going to be a lot better than the movie, which it obviously is. But from the response I've heard online and from all my friends, I knew I was in for something even better than I expected. And surprise, surprise, yes, that's exactly what I got. Uh, I don't know where to start with the series, except for to say I'm thoroughly impressed. And before I get into this categorically, I will say Daredevil the TV series has risen the bar on superhero television, movie, uh, television series, which is a staple that has usually been held by DC for years. But now Marvel seems to be encroaching on that, and this show has really shown people this is how it's done. So, <laughs> before the super dick ride and commences, let me just get into this systematically. Let me start off with the actors and characters. The guy who played Daredevil, Chris Cox, the last thing I saw him in was Bordel Kempire. He's a good actor. Just from Bordel Kempire, that one season he was in, very good. And him playing Daredevil was a great pick. He's very well, you know, tuned, he's a fit guy, he's fighting coke, he was great. He acts very well Daredevil, the Daredevil that I've seen from the Spider-Man cartoon. Although I believe this is the darker take on Daredevil. Like most people say, most of the comic fans will tell you that there's kind of two types of Daredevil. The jovial, light-hearted one and the more darker one. This is the more darker one and I like it. Now compared to the cinematic universe, this is a hard art. Very violent, very brutal, even though it's dark, very dark. It still has a lot of levity, and Chris Cox played Daredevil well. Good balance, not just his other dramatic, you know, Batman ish type. He's got a little bit of that jovialness, but you know, he's a very intense character, and Chris Cox plays that perfectly well. I, uh, no complaints about his character at all. Absolutely great. Now, the film with super, superhero TV series, or even series in the past, side characters always are just that side characters. But this series fleshes them out so well. And the actors that play them, even Iggy as a jovial character, usually characters like this guy annoy the hell out of me because they're always wisecracking and being just stupid comic relief. This guy is, is that, but he's serious as well. And there's good episodes where him and Matt Murdock get into it and it's really cool. The lady, uh, she is awesome as well. Usually female characters that are not superheroes get played as damsel in distress. From the minute this girl enters, she has an arc, a gritty arc, an intense arc, and when the series ends, there was even a little bit of a twist that I liked and didn't even see coming, which just made me realise that, you know, Marvel really do know how to balance characters, and I know in 2015, we do know how to not just 
make women damsels in distress. Speaking of which, guess who came along as a surprise? I didn't even know who was cast. Rosario Dawson. Wow, I love her in every way. And the, the character she plays in Daredevil is actually a Marvel character that is intertweaved into all different Marvel franchises. You might see her in the other upcoming series and even the movies because her character, AKA Night Nurse, is someone who always helps superheroes, which is a little bit of backstory. So it's awesome to see her come in and out of the series. This first series, she's not in every episode, but she come in and out, in and out. And I, I'm, I'm gonna look forward to seeing her in future Marvel series. So I think it was a good choice for her. And she's a great actress. She plays very well in the series. And yeah, but um, obviously there's one person I'm forgetting. It's Wilson Fisk. The portrayal of the Kingpin, aka Wilson Fisk, in this Daredevil series is absolutely fantastic. The interpretation of him this time around is a very vulnerable man who's fighting who he's ultimately going to become. And they make his character so compelling with the backstory, with the emotions, with the character development. I love this guy just as much as Daredevil. Even though he's the antagonist, they bit him so well that I was just blown away. And you know, on, on, on whole, the balance of all the characters make this show a thoroughly enjoyable watch. So get into the storyline. This is only 13 episodes, but every episode builds upon the last. There's great momentum, great action, great suspense, great storytelling. I'm using that word great a lot, but I really was impressed. And I don't use that word lightly. This show really kept me engaged and I understood why people just couldn't stop watching it. You know, on Netflix, getting it all at once is definitely a treat because this show was hard to stop watching. But honestly, on the whole, this, this show raised the bar in terms of writing, in terms of character development, characterization, and just story development, and just how they executed it. One straight narrative in 13 episodes. It was just so evenly made that when it was over, I felt like I watched just a single contained show that you could just even stop here and be like, that was a great one-off series. But it's gonna continue. It's already been greenlit for a second season. And I'm just gonna end it and say, Daredevil, the rating I'm gonna give it is a high first class. It is the best superhero TV series I've seen in years. It has raised the bar. And I'm sorry, DC, right now, you've got Gotham running at the same time, even start before, and there's a lot of similarities between Gotham and Daredevil. To be honest with you, there's more similarities between Daredevil and Batman Year One, but just because Gotham and this are one at the same, I'm gonna compare these two. Gotham, it makes Gotham look silly. And I have my own problems with Gotham that I'll get to in a separate video that this really just showed DC they really need to be careful because now Marvel is encroaching on their TV series, which is a, a very big warning sign. But you know, sometimes you, some, sometimes people have to show you how it's done. And if DC has to take notes from Marvel yet again, now in the TV series, then you know, so be it. We will win as the audience because there will be better storytelling from what wins, you know, from the successes always breed competition and imitators. So if DC want to copy this and take notes, they should. Because honestly, I love a lot of DC characters to go on a little ramble here. And I just, this is just showing the level you can get with any kind of story driven narrative. And to see that with a daredevil alone is fucking impressive. And I have to swear that this is really a great crime drama on its own right. Forget superhero movie. I was so impressed with this show. And I better just stop here. Now, uh, guys, if you have any criticism for Daredevil, you don't think it's as great as I think it is, or the mass think it is, because believe me, on Rotten Tomorrow's IMDb, this has got ridiculously high ratings. Let me know in the comments below. We don't always need to see eye to eye, we don't always need to agree, and I'm always open to see different perspectives. But this is a solid recommendation. If you haven't seen Daredevil, stop watching this review. You got my seal of approval already, and watch Daredevil. <laughs> it really is great. And on a little side note to end this, I am looking forward to the other Marvel Netflix shows, I think the Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and uh, what is it, Power Man, or whatever it's called. They're gonna be good. This is set the tone and giving me confidence to see that Marvel do know what they're doing. They do know how to make a good TV show as well as movies. And even though this one's a lot more gritty, it doesn't fit the tone of the, the PG-13 movies. Marvel, at this point, really can do no wrong. DC, get in shape. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let me leave it at that. I'm always going to get enough hate for the Marvel dick riding. Uh, if this is your first time to play a title, 
welcome to the channel hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this on your youtube feed and as you can see on the right left <laughs> you can see all the annotations to the other videos you see here on planet tyro but for now let's leave it there guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video guys take care peace out <laughs>